Hi guys, it's Just Wanna Fiction and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite age gap recommendations. All right guys, so I have six books I wanna share with you guys. They all feature the age gap trope. Now a few of these are actually new releases that just came out last month, so I'm so excited to talk about these books with you guys. Now if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads, both linked down below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about these age gap romance books. All right, so I'm gonna start this list off with a new release. First up, we have the Confidence of Wildflowers, and this is by Michaela Smeltzer. It is following Fair and Salem. So Salem is an 18-year-old girl with a very troubled past, and she's about to graduate high school, and she really doesn't know what she wants to do with her life after that. Then Fair, a 31-year-old architect, moves in next door. He is a single father and asks Salem if she will nanny for him and take care of his son, and it goes from there. I absolutely adored this book. I laughed. I hysterically sobbed towards the end. Definitely check trigger warnings. There is an event that takes place which was very hard to read towards the end of the book. And then also there is cheating. I will say that a lot of people are finding it problematic. Personally, I didn't have an issue with it, but Salem does have a boyfriend in high school in the very beginning of this. But if you enjoy this book, the second book, The Resurrection of Wildflowers, is also out. Just as amazing, just as good. If you want a very emotional age gap, I would definitely check this series out. All right, guys, so the next one is kind of a classic, and that is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Now, I love everything Penelope Douglas writes, and she actually has a few age gaps, but this is probably one of my favorite books by her. So this is following Jordan and Pike. Jordan is a girl who's been in a long-term relationship with this guy, Cole, and he just doesn't treat her right. He really doesn't value her. And one day on her birthday, she is waiting for Cole to pick her up, and he doesn't show. So she goes to the movies, and when she gets there, she has instant chemistry with a older gentleman named Pike. Unfortunately, everyone soon discovers that Pike is actually Cole's father, and Cole has gotten Jordan and himself kicked out of their apartment, so they move in with Pike. And it's super awkward, but super awesome. So not only is it age gap, but it's also ex-boyfriend's father, and I love this. I just love seeing Jordan's growth and how she deals with such an interesting situation. And Pike is one of my favorite guys that Penelope Douglas has ever written. Super spicy. So if you want a spicy age gap, I would definitely check this one out. All right, next up is another new release that's getting a lot of hype right now on Book Talk, and that is Praise by Sarah Kate. So this is super spicy, and it's over, I believe, a 20-year age gap. It's following Emerson and Charlie. So Emerson and his friends in the beginning of the book decide they're gonna open up a nightclub that caters to certain kinks, so that way everyone will have their privacy and they won't be judged, and it ends up being very successful. So then we move forward in time a little bit, and Emerson is trying to find a sub. He's very into the whole sub praise kink, and he's having difficulty, and then one day, Charlie, his son's ex-girlfriend, wanders into his office looking for money, and he mistakes her as a sub, and she right away is very intrigued. So he ends up hiring her as a secretary, and it goes from there. So this is also age gap and ex-boyfriend's dad. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think it's super spicy. Very fun time. Um, I will be continuing with the series. I think it's gonna be like every member of the board that created this like kink nightclub. But overall, definitely, if you want a spicy age gap, I would pick this one up. All right, and next up we have another one of my favorite reads of 2022, and that is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zabata. So this is following Rhodes and Aurora. In the very beginning of the book, we find out that Aurora has recently been divorced from a guy she was seeing for over 15 years, and he ended up breaking up with her, and she's just trying to figure out what she's gonna do with life. So she moves back home where her mother actually went missing on a hike. I think it's Arizona, don't quote me on that. But anyway, she moves to this small town wanting to go and do the hikes and everything she remembers doing with her mother as a child. Now, when she gets to her hometown, she finds out that the Airbnb she's staying at was actually listed by mistake by the landlord's son. So when she meets the landlord, Rhodes, right away, he is not happy with Aurora, and it's definitely a grumpy sunshine situation. But I love them together. Oh my goodness, Rhodes is by far my favorite guy that Mariana Zabata has ever written. Also, if you are a fan of the slow burn, please read Mariana Zabata. She is the queen. I love all of her books. They are so good. But definitely, if you just want 
a slow burn that really reminds me of like spring and summer with all of the hikes and everything. Check this out. I absolutely loved it and it does feature a significant age gap. All right, and next up we have Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. This is the second book in the Fallen MC series. I actually have an entire spoiler-free series review that I will leave linked in the cards and in the description, but this book in particular is so good. So this is following Lulu and Zeus. So when Lulu is a child, she ends up getting in the middle of a shootout between two rival MCs, and Zeus, the leader of one of the MCs, ends up jumping on top of her and saving her, and she thinks of him as her guardian monster and really looks up to him. Unfortunately, Zeus ends up going to prison because of that shootout, and he goes to prison for manslaughter. So Lulu has a very tough home life, and she finds out she's getting diagnosed with cancer, so she starts becoming a pen pal with Zeus and writing him letters while he's in jail, and they just have this very cute, very innocent back and forth until Lulu becomes an adult and meets Zeus again. Now, I believe there's over a 20 year age difference or at least close to 20 year age gap between these two. Um, so this is very taboo. I can understand why some people wouldn't be a huge fan of it. However, I love Daddy Zeus. Oh my goodness, he's one of my favorite uh, characters in the Fallen MC. And just the way he treats Lulu and protects her, it's just so, so good. Once again, I love everything I've read by Gianna Darling. Definitely check that author out if you haven't, but this book is one of my favorites. So please, if you read The Fallen MC, check this one out. It is really, really good. And last up, we have Don't Kiss the Bride by Karen Cole. So this is another like construction worker age gap. So we're following our main character, Skylar, and she has had a very traumatic upbringing. Her mother's a hoarder, and then she also has a eating disorder. So she's just had a really rough life, and one day when her car breaks down, she meets Lucky, who's this older construction worker, and he right away kind of takes her under his wing, and then he finds out that she is not getting the proper health care that she needs, and he offers to marry her so she can jump onto his insurance, and it goes from there. This book was so cute. I was not expecting to like this quite as much as I did. I was also not expecting it to be as emotional as it was. Like I said, Skylar has a really, really tough life, so definitely check trigger warnings, but if you want another age gap, also kind of marriage of convenience trope, definitely pick this up. It's so good and really underrated. All right, guys, those are all my favorite books that feature the age gap trope. Please let me know down in the comments below if there are any other books that feature this trope. I love recommendations. Now, I said this already, but I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday, and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week.